How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. And before we get started guys, please just go ahead and smack a like and drop a sub. I would really appreciate it. And I know I have been hyping this game up so much and I'm not going to apologize for that because this game deserves to be hyped up that much. But how do I know this game is getting hyped up? <laughs> well, you know, I got a, you know, triggered McSalty pants in my comment section. That's how I know. But you, you kind of right. You kind of right. Let's actually get some good content going here. All right. Today we're going to discuss the six main islands in Jurassic World Evolution. I mean, f five islands, not six. What am I talking about? I've got a little bit of a backstory for them. Uh, I've got a little bit of information on them. Um, also got some just general ideas I want to toss out there about these islands. Jurassic World Evolution evolves players' relationship with Jurassic World, placing them in control of operations on the legendary island of Isla Nublar and the surrounding islands of the Mirte Archipelago. Players will build their own Jurassic Park as they bioengineer new dinosaurs, breeds, and construct attractions, containment, and research facilities. Every choice leads to a different path and spectacular challenges arise when life finds a way. What does that mean? Of course, you know, with Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, just the canon in general, there's always dinosaurs breaking out. There's always havoc. There's always some sort of, you know, natural calamity that's, you know, causing the dinosaurs to either escape or causing Ian Malcolm, who's voiced by Jeff Goldblum, you know, Cabot Finch, these other people to kind of be like, oh, crap, what do we do? We're kind of distracted. And now all these dinosaurs are running about, right? So if you look into... Um, these Muratis, I'm oh, sorry, I, it's going to be hard for me to say that word. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying here, okay? I'm trying. The Muratis Archipelago is also known as the Five Deaths. La Cinco Muratis in Spanish is a chain of five islands 200 miles southwest of Costa Rica. They are named Isla Manteceros, Isla Murater, Isla Pina, Isla Sorna, and Isla Tocano. The names come from a Native American myth about a brave warrior facing a different execution on each of the five islands, burning, drowning, crushing, hanging, and beheading. The islands were revealed in the sequel of Jurassic Park film and novel. Okay, so here's the thing about these islands. Now, as you progress through the game, you're going to go to each, each different island, and you kind of start over again, but each island presents you know, new hurdles to jump, new challenges will arise. Which also kind of lets me to believe that this is how the game is going to progress. Each island you go to, there's going to be more dinosaurs to, to hybrid and release into your pen. You'll gain the Spinosaurus once you get to, let's say, Island 3. So that's what's going to be really cool. Let's just hope you get the Indominus Rex on Island 1, right? Maybe the Indoraptor? Come on. Come on, guys. you got to help us out here, Frontier. you got to help us out. We can't be waiting to, like, you know... Uh, Isla Tecano Island fucking six or five or whatever it is before we get some good dinosaurs So I do apologize what I say six six islands earlier. I meant five, you know, just you know, we scratched that off the record So yeah, so that's what I'm saying with this progression There's natural calamities that happen, you know thunderstorms stuff like that You can kind of see that in a little bit of this gameplay that I've got in the background Which is cool. Um, but it's like no volcanoes are exploding. Where's the tornadoes, bruh? We ain't got a we ain't got a hurricane. We ain't got a tsunami. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is gonna be like the next city skylines, but in the Jurassic canon, in the Jurassic lore, that stuff's coming. But guess what? Once you get to Island Four or Island Five, you'll have the volcanic, you know, eruption. Once you get to Island Three, you might have a tsunami. The game will progress and get harder as you go on. That's just the way it's going to be. That's the way the progression will work. You'll get harder dinosaurs. You'll have to go to different dig sites, which we'll do a video about that later. But you'll have to go to better dig sites, get access to better dig sites, just so you can get better amber, better fossils, better ways to recreate and bioengineer your dinosaurs and better dinosaurs. And who's to say that, of course, once you get to a new island you'll unlock a new dig site which will unlock new dinosaurs right and you can already go to jurassic wiki and see the laundry list of dinosaurs they already have confirmed and a lot of them will surprise you and a few of them are exclusive again another video on that coming soon okay so a little bit of backstory about these islands though many people for some reason think that engine 
which is the company that bio engineered some of the first dinosaurs that they owned all of the five diffs the five islands they in fact did not they only owned isla sorna and that was probably the only island populated with dinosaurs aside from isla nublar all of the islands were most likely left alone which means when the dinosaurs escaped on on isla sorna did the flying dinosaurs take flight, go to the other, you know, islands? Did they populate that somehow? Is some of the, like the mosasaur, some of the water dinosaurs, did they happen to go over that way and kind of swim in those waters, right? So I kind of think that they're not going to be populated, but I kind of think that if the game is going with the canon, which they usually do, that some of these dinosaurs have had time to live on those islands and grow and develop on their own. So they might be something we've never even seen before. And Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, however you want to, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, however you want to look at it, they're actually really good about creating, you know, new dinosaurs, like the Indominus Rex, you know. So there's a whole host of things you could probably encounter on these other islands. The five islands were part of a group of at least 20 islands. Uh, and this is coming from the Lost World novel. They had temples with colorful illustrations uh, of the executions that took place on each island in the myth. The shapes and positions of the five islands are not shown in the book, only on the map of Isla Sorna. Ian Malcolm says the islands form a bow. They lie 15 kilometers from the mainland. Okay, the mainland where actual civilization is. Or are they considering Isla Sorna the mainland of these islands? It depends on how far out they are. And if they're right off Costa Rica, Costa Rica is probably the mainland, let's be honest. In the video game, The Lost World Jurassic Park shows a map of the five deaths. Since the shape of Isla Sorna matches the version from the novel, these maps might reflect the five deaths from the novel and is actually canon. However, the islands lie in an X-shaped configuration rather than a bow-type shape from the novel. The island um, from top to bottom are Isla Sorna, Isla Monteceros, Isla Tecano, and Isla Pina, and then Isla Mirta. In the film, the shapes and positions of the islands are seen only when Kelly Curtis Malcolm sneaks into the trailer and sees a map on the wall. Another map of the five deaths appear in the Jurassic Park 3 prop set. This time the islands form a bow, and uh, as stated in the novel, the islands are left to right, you know, starting with Monteceros and ending up with, you know, uh, I think Pina, yeah. And uh, Nublar is placed halfway between the five deaths and the mainland. I'll throw up some uh, screenshots here if I don't get copyrighted for them. So yeah, guys, that's some backstory about the five deaths, these five islands that's going to be featured in Jurassic World Evolution. Um, and with each one of these five islands, there's going to be new challenges, all kinds of different stuff that's going to um, just come at us. And if I can speculate here for a second, being as some of these other islands probably haven't been populated, or if they were populated by a couple other companies or some of the people who's doing some shady stuff, and I don't want to spoil anything, you know, please watch the movies. I'm not... I'm not ready to spoil a bunch of stuff for everybody. I know there's plenty of videos out there if you want to go find out like who the bad guys are and how that stuff works. But if these other islands are really untamed, and there might be a few dinosaurs on there that haven't been touched and kind of have free roam, free reign to do whatever they want, well, the thing is, who's to say that they don't breed and make their own hybrids? You know, Jurassic World, uh, the canon and the lore and doesn't necessarily follow science. I mean, you can't really get DNA um, from a dinosaur out of a mos mosquito that's trapped in amber. You really can't do that from a mosquito millions of years ago. If you was to replicate that, you'd end up with a room full of mosquitoes. So, you know, we have to throw science out the window to a certain extent and just assume that some of these dinosaurs, you know, maybe there's a Spinosaurus on one of these. Of course, you know, it's a stretch. Of course, why would there be? There wouldn't. But let's just say there's a, uh, you know... Uh, Sikiomimus running around and that one happens to you know hook up with an endoraptor just saying I, I mean I know one's herbivore one's a carnivore but I'm just saying like there's so many different things that could potentially happen and if you're going you can't really just base off science you know because science is kind of thrown out the window with Jurassic World so I'm kind of wondering what are these challenges that will be presented on these different islands? And I'm super ready to get right into it. I wish that I could play this game right now. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, you know, and it's kind of depressing. It really is. But anyway, it is what it is. Look, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys smash that like button. And if this is your first time to the channel, please subscribe. 
you won't regret it. My content is getting better every single day. Um, and I have time to upload now. We got our own place. Everything's cool. Everything's kosher. Um, hop on our Discord server. Everybody in there is chill. Pretty cool. I mean, they might troll you, but, you know, you're coming into my Discord server. What do you expect? So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I appreciate you like always, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.